In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use open type features in Microsoft Word. So all of the special features that we've built into our new font, Twindigo, such as double letter ligatures, contextual alternatives, and kerning, I'm going to show you how you can use those. So if you look at the page right now, it says a few different words and there's some it looks okay, but there are some extra things that we've added to make it even better. So for example, the space between the T and the W looks a little bit big. And then there are some special H's and connections between the TH that we've built in, as well as double letters. So for E, E, and freedom, you can see right now those two E's are the same, but we've actually created many double ligatures where the two letters next to each other are this, not the same as each other. So actually, let me add another M at the end of freedom just so you can see it even better. And then also this FR connection is a little bit awkward. So I'm going to show you how you can use all of the features. So first, you'll want to highlight all of the text. Make sure you have Twindigo script as the font name. Then down here in the font options, click this arrow and it's going to take you to additional options. Go over to this advanced tab and there are three things you need to do. The first thing is to check this box and change this number to one. So kerning for fonts one point and above, which just means for all size fonts. Then uh, under this ligatures drop-down box, you will do all instead of none. And the last thing is just checking this use contextual alternates box. So once you have those three things done, you can click Okay, and you can see all of those changes. So now this spacing between the T and the W looks much better. The H is special in March. You can see the TH connection here was changed. And then in Freedom, we have three different changes. First, the FR connection has been fixed, so it's not that awkward connection it was before. Then we have double E, and the E's are different from each other. Same thing with the double M. So making double letters different from one another makes it look a lot more handwritten. So if I do control Z, it's going to undo that change and take it back to where it was so that we can compare. If I click control Y, then it's going to fix everything again. And there you go. So that's how you use the features we've built into our new font in Microsoft Word. You can get the font in the description below this video.